welcome back to my channel and welcome to my September 2023 bullet journal setup, of course. I'm super excited for this one because I took inspiration from one of my favorite films of all time, let alone one of my favorite Studio Ghibli films of all time, which is Kiki's Delivery Service. I think especially because fall is coming soon, I've been really activating my cozy mode. I feel like when fall comes, I get in the mood to watch all of my favorite comfort films and Kiki's Delivery Service is definitely that for me. Um, if you haven't seen the movie yet, it's just, it's so nostalgic to me. It talks about things like burnout and motivation and aspirations and I think especially watching it as an adult, it just hits extra hard. I remember watching it growing up and I still loved it back then. But rewatching Studio Ghibli films as an adult is definitely a very different experience and this movie is just so special to me. Yeah, I just thought it was a perfect theme, especially because actually there's going to be a new Studio Ghibli film coming out this month, I believe, or coming up soon, The Boy and the Heron. So, so I thought I would honor that by doing another Studio Ghibli theme for my bullet journal. I actually have done a Studio Ghibli Kiki's Delivery Service themed spread in the past. Some of you guys, my little doodles, reminded me while I was doing some of these spreads on stream that the last time we did it was actually three years ago. I thought it was less than that, but I looked into it and it was in 2020. I can't believe that much time has passed since that setup. It's one of my favorites and I know it's one of your guys's as well. So I was like, okay, we are long overdue for another Ghibli theme. So I wanted to do it again, but kind of switch up the vibes. This time I focused on a more autumn theme. So we used Gigi, of course, our favorite sassy black cat. And I added a lot of autumn leaves as well. And another thing that I explored with a lot this month was actually using colored pencils. I feel like this year was the year of me exploring with a lot of different mediums and also low-key falling in love with colored pencils. I've been known to be a little bit of a colored pencil hater in the past, but I've kind of been coming around and I really enjoyed using colored pencils for this setup. I think particularly using my Prismacolor pencils more because they're just so creamy and rich and they give you really punchy color that, as you can tell from the spread, looks so good in this style. And I was really enjoying using colored pencils. It was very relaxing to do my spreads while watching Studio Ghibli films or listening to music. Um, so I kind of really got in the zone this month while setting up my spread. There's this one quote from the movie that I really love and it's from the character Ursula who says, Stop trying, take long walks, look at the scenery, doze off at noon, don't even think about flying, and then pretty soon you'll be flying again. And if you know the context of the movie, you know why um, this happens and everything, but I think it's just so applicable if you're going through a tough time or a burnout or a creative block. And it actually lines up a lot with um, the advice that I give to you guys a lot when you guys ask me about burnout or motivation. I always kind of say like the best way to get through hard times is just to go through it. Um, don't be too hard on yourself by focusing on what you're not doing. Do other things like let's say you're trying to draw and you know you forcing yourself to draw something when you're not feeling it is not going to be very productive so um, you know go out, live your life, come back to it when you're feeling ready. I think especially with things like art or anything creative, you need to be like living your life in order to get inspiration for these things. You can't kind of do the opposite. So that's what I've learned um, is just really balancing like my personal life with creative things and my work um, and it all kind of works together to like motivate me in each aspect because if you have more of one it doesn't really work out hope that makes sense but anyway i also wanted to give you guys a few life updates about what i've been working on because i know i've been a little bit mia i feel bad because every month i just post one of these and i don't know the months just seem to go by so quickly these days but we have been working on the Doodle Planner launch for next year. It should be coming out mid-October, which I'm really excited for, so mark your calendars. And along with the Doodle Planners, we will finally be restocking the pencil cases, which I'm so excited for. I know you guys have been patiently waiting for a restock, so 
it'll all be coming at the same time in one big drop and maybe there will be other surprises as well. We actually did a big photo shoot for the Doodle Planner um, and some other shop arrow things last week and it went so well. The photos turned out so cute. I'll put a little sneak peek here. I won't say any more, but I will say this year the Doodle Planner has themes that you guys have never seen on my YouTube channel before and the covers are completely different from anything we've ever done, ever. And they're my personal favorite product that we've ever launched, period. So. Considering this is the fifth year doing the doodle planner, I think that says a lot. I hope I'm not overhyping it, but I think it's gonna be really cool. I'm doing a lot behind the scenes, but I feel like sometimes it looks like I'm not doing that much, especially if I'm quiet on social media, but I promise you guys, I'm working on so many exciting things for shop. It just so happened that they're all going to be coming out around the same time, so stay tuned, guys. It's gonna be so good. Other life updates, um, I went to KCON and it was so fun. I did a little bullet journaling workshop and I got to meet a bunch of viewers as well. It was so fun. Um, the concerts were really fun. The lineup was pretty crazy. It was three days, so I got to see Taemin from Shiny, um, The Boys, ATs, Stray Kids, I've g idol at KCON. I was with Nina, who you guys know, and that was really fun. And I got to interview a very exciting guest for the drawing board so I'm hoping to have that come out soon as well. Just so many things in the works guys. And yeah I've just been focusing on working slowly and patiently um, and focusing on my health as well. Ever since my health updates video where I was talking about my health scare some people have been wondering how I'm doing now and I'm doing a lot better since then so that's good. What else? What else have I been doing? I've been really into watching Chinese dramas lately, so if you guys also have been watching Chinese dramas, please let's fangirl about them. I've watched Hidden Love, When I Fly Towards You, Exclusive Fairy Tale, and then also Mr. Ling, um, and they've been very good. And oh, I'm currently watching My Lovely Liar, which is a K-drama, so... That's my current watch list. If you have any other drama recommendations, let me know. But I feel like the Chinese dramas this year have been particularly addictive. So I highly recommend those if you're a rom-com girly like me. I've also been into reading a lot lately, which is new for me because usually I don't have the patience to read. I always remember people telling me like, once you find what you like to read, it's like the gateway into reading. And I feel like, I started with romance books and I've slowly been expanding a little bit more and reading a little bit more so it's definitely true once I find a good book I just like can't stop and I can't put it down so that's a new another new interest of mine. Jennifer do you want to say hi to my video? <laughs> I was literally filming my <laughs> video with Jen. <laughs> Body doubling guys. I've been so productive. Wait, literally say. <laughs> we only wasted the first five hours. <laughs> Back to the matter at hand. I realized I haven't actually talked about the spread that I'm making yet. So as you can see for the cover page, I focused on Gigi with his little bow and added this kind of windowsill scene with the autumn leaves around it. Um, and initially I was just going to do a simple color palette with just black and like maybe the red But then I got really carried away with the colored pencils and went full in with all of the autumn leaf colors I think it definitely stays true to the style of the movies and um, Above all else it was actually really fun for me to do I realized that the best method for me personally to color with colored pencils is by layering a lot um, instead of just going in right away and pressing super hard. So for the purple dress, for Kiki's purple dress, I actually layered a light layer of black and gray underneath it because there wasn't an exact shade of um, colored pencil that matched the original dress and that's kind of how I got around doing that um, But for Gigi just to give it that pure deep black I was using a fine liner for the quote page on the left side I used the quote that I mentioned earlier the one from Ursula and I wanted the quote page to really fill the page and make it look like Kiki's flying off of the page and you know the autumn leaves are also flying up with her and I just really love the way it turned out 
out. Drawing Studio Ghibli characters is something that I do on my free time and I've done it time and time again, so it was very relaxing for me. Oh, I went back in with a darker colored pencil for some areas to add shadows, particularly on the skin, um, and I think it really brought everything together. Also going back in to just kind of blend everything. Moving on to the calendar spread. For this month, I went for a rounded calendar and also a smaller calendar shape. Um, usually I'll do five by five box spaces when I want a smaller calendar, especially when I know that I want to add a lot of doodles around it, which in this case I did because I was feeling very doodly and I knew I wanted to add the autumn leaves and Gigi around it. But if I do want a larger calendar that takes up more of the page, then I'll go for six by six. So those are kind of like my usual dimensions. But again, in this case, I really wanted to doodle a lot around it. So you can see I left a lot of empty space. And then using the autumn leaf colors that I used for the cover page, uh, that's how I colored in the days of the week at the top, just kind of alternating. And also use those colors to create small circles in the corner of each box, again, alternating. Normally I wouldn't go for this many colors in a color palette, but I think it all works together because of the softness of the colored pencils and it does definitely look very autumnal so it worked out really well. Also, as a side note on the topic of colored pencils, this was my first time using a new pencil sharpener that I got. I got an art pencil sharpener and it sharpens your pencils into a long point, which you can kind of tell based on the colored pencils. Um, and it's a game changer because it lasts so long. I feel like I was coloring so much and I didn't really have to resharpen too much in between. So. Um, highly recommend. I'll link it down below, the one that I got. It is also a, a manual one, so I kind of like, I don't know, it's very satisfying to hear the sharpening noises. And again, it's just the process of me converting myself into a colored pencil lover. Okay, so as you can see, I'm writing out the numbers and the days of the week. And then in terms of the doodles, I wanted to put Gigi at the top. Oh, sorry, no, I added a drop shadow brought the drop shadows back. It's been a while since I've done that. So I just used my brush pen to do that and wrote out September with the same brush pen. Um, in terms of drawing Gigi, Gigi is actually really, really easy to draw, especially because he's like a fully black cat. So you can kind of fix up any, any mistakes by, you know, adjusting the shape of the Gigi once you fill it in with your fine liner because it's just like a black mass. It's actually really easy, so maybe I'll do a little Instagram doodle tutorial for drawing a Gigi at some point. In the rest of the empty space, I drew the autumn leaves floating around in a swirl pattern, almost as if Kiki's wind by flying brought the leaves around in a magical sort of shape. Um, and then I also drew Kiki's broom leading, leaning against the calendar, which I thought was really cute. And that was pretty much it for this calendar spread. The next spread that I made was my habit tracker spread and for this I used my rubber stamps and I had to use a little sticky note to cover the last day of this stamp because there's only 30 days in September and it worked pretty well. And then around the rubber stamp calendars, I did that same rounded rectangle shape and divided it out so that there's a header for me to put the habits that I'm tracking. And this is just a really quick and easy way to make a habit tracker spread. So um, highly recommend getting these rubber stamps. Again, I'll link them down below. And then again, just using those same autumn colors to color in the headers, which now I'm realizing it kind of goes with my nails, my current nails, um, and these nails are a little bit of a hint for next year's Shaba Mandarich Lee doodle planner photo shoot thing that's coming out soon. Um, I needed to do my nails for the shoot to match the vibes, so again, another hint of what's to come. I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, okay, and then just adding drop shadows on the rest of the mini calendars, and the habits that I'm tracking this month are 
working out, which I've been doing a lot of Pilates lately, reading, which I mentioned I've been really into journaling, going on walks because it's the last few months of, or last few weeks of warm weather in Toronto. And then of course, taking my vitamins because I'm an iron deficient girly and also cooking more because I've been trying to cook instead of ordering takeout. Um, I think it's a lot healthier, but I'm just not a cooking type of person. I don't know how people cook, especially if you live on your own. It's so hard to cook for yourself. I kind of want to take cooking classes, but I don't want to take cooking classes that teach you how to make fancy dishes or meals. Like I just want someone to teach me how to cook quick and easy for one person. Like, does that exist? I don't know. Um, anyway, as you can see, I'm drying those floating leaves again, except I'm doing it across both spreads. I kind of did this across all of the spreads this month, which I think was cool because it's almost as if the leaves are floating across pages and between all the different pages. And it kind of adds to the calming, magical vibe that Kiki's Delivery Service, the movie, has. Um, at the bottom of this fall playlist spread, I wrote another quote from the movie which says, We can fly with our spirits. And then I just wrote out some of the current songs that I've been playing. I haven't done a playlist spread in a while, which is why I wanted to include this. And especially because, for me, part of the experience of Studio Ghibli music is the soundtrack. I, of course, love the relaxing vibe that all Studio Ghibli OSTs have and I think that carries over into my real life where I just love choosing songs to create a soundtrack for my everyday life and I'm just like you know the main character and I put on my current playlist and current songs and kind of pretend like this is the soundtrack to my life. So these songs currently are the soundtrack to my life and they definitely all have like a cozier fall vibe to them so definitely recommend checking them out. Um, I'll try to link a Spotify playlist down below. And then finally, we have made it to the weekly spread for September, and I don't know what I was on, but I was just really having a blast drawing. So I drew Kiki again in full force, and I pulled up some reference photos from the movies to have her, you know, flying, and it was so fun for me. I think I just really missed full on drawing. I know I do a lot of little doodles and stuff for these types of setups, but it's been a while since I sketched regularly and it was something that I actually have been doing a lot this summer is just sketching for fun, sketching for me, not for content or anything, and just trying to reconnect with my love of art again. So I really love sketching like anime and just character type of drawings because that's the type of thing that I grew up drawing. If you guys didn't know, how I got into art in general is by drawing like anime fan art and just little anime cute girls and cute characters and stuff. So this is right up my alley and it just brings back so many memories. Um, there's actually like a really old DeviantArt account that I have that still has all of my old anime girl drawings somewhere, but those are my roots. So this definitely feels like I'm going back to my art roots a little bit and it was so fun. But yeah, as you can see, I'm outlining my sketch and the fine liner that I'm using is on the thinner side. I think it was either 02 or 03. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that it was a very even looking outline before I colored it in with my color pencils. As I was drawing this, it was kind of a lot of pressure to draw Studio Ghibli characters because they're so iconic and well-loved but I hope I did Kiki justice and honored Miyazaki. Um, he's just such an icon. When I was in LA, I actually had the chance to go to a Studio Ghibli exhibit and they had a lot of the original sketches from the movie because if you didn't know, a lot of the animation is actually hand done. So it's not CGI like a lot of the animation movies that you see nowadays. It's like frame by frame and it's just really special to see movies still being done like that because I think the current movie that's coming out is also still like that but anyway me drawing these characters on paper was kind of like I felt like I was one of the animators or something um, but anyway something that I did realize while I was doing this last spread was a technique where I used marker underneath the colored pencil and it kind of sped up the coloring process because 
in the beginning when I was just using color pencil, I would kind of have to layer a lot to make sure that there was solid color and kind of keep the colored pencil strokes. But for this, I would put a layer of the marker down. So as you can see, I'm using a gray marker for the dress and then put the colored pencil on top. So the marker kind of acts as the flat base and then you can use the colored pencil to still get that kind of sketchy colored pencil look at the very top. And it definitely sped up the process a lot. So kind of a different technique. I don't know if this is new or anything, but that's what I did. And I wish I learned it sooner so I could have used it on the cover page, but we're learning. For the actual weekly spread layout, I did something a little bit different. I don't think I've ever done a spread like this before, uh, partially because it was the only thing that would fit under my large drawing of Kiki. It wasn't supposed to be this large, but it just kind of ended up that way. But anyway, underneath you can see I did a little weekly events area. Um, normally I would do like a sidebar, but I had to split it up into four and then three because Kiki did take up so much space, but it worked out anyway because it filled the page nicely. So that's where I put any events or appointments. And then on the left side, I did the rolling weekly tasks um, layout for my to-do list, which I've done in the past. And if you are confused about how I use this, then basically I list out the to-do lists on the right side. And on the left side, I marked out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and I'll kind of mark off which day I wanna do those tasks. And that way, if I need to move a task over to a later date, I can do that. And it's just easier when I have not as structured of a week. I filled in the rest of the page with the floating leaf, and then I added a quote from the movie that says, just follow your heart and keep smiling. guys as I'm wrapping things up here are some of your recreations from last month as well as your doodle planner spreads if you do use the doodle planner or if you recreate any of my bullet journal spreads please tag me on Instagram or Twitter or X or TikTok whatever social media platform you use and I would love to see them so tag me um, and yeah other than that again just keep on the lookout for all of these shop ARL things I am so, 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 so excited and it's going to be worth the wait, I promise. Thank you guys for patiently waiting for the news about that and restocks and content. I think that's it. I hope you guys have a good September and yeah, keep doodling. Bye!